with Digital Life and Eye Repair MD, and today we're gonna take this baby apart. So stay tuned. Hey, this is Pryke with Eye Repair MD and Digital Life, and today we will be examining the nine bot up close. We had this nine bot mini for over close to a year now, and we have tested in pretty much almost every condition, wet, dry, rain, sand, dirt, and find it to be a really rugged product and well well made. And today, we're gonna do something that is gonna hurt me, but I have to learn to do it one day. We're gonna take it completely apart and see what's inside this 9 bot Mini. Stay tuned. All right, so got my Craftsman hex screw 1.5 to uh, 8 millimeter. I'm going to use the um, smaller millimeter rating. First thing I'm going to do is take out the uh, battery pack. This is this battery pack is built by Ninebot and it is a lithium ion 54.8 volt and 4300 milliamp. So this is a pretty powerful battery pack and the way it is attached is attached by four hex screws to the bottom of this. Nine so let's go ahead and open it up. Of course it says a warning, it says high voltage inside. Do not disassemble battery pack. So I'm going against the warning. Because I'm a trained professional. So now, take all the screws out and look at the battery. Wow, this is a nice battery pack. And you can see there's actually an arming light telling that the battery is charged. And you have these uh, high-end connectors here that has a seal on it. And this is a bumper. Nice connector. This is a seal. Uh, if you see this black rubber around here, this right here is actually a rubberized seal. So once it meets up with this... Uh, this, sh this this part, the shell part here, the chassis. The, the chassis, it actually creates a water tight seal. And this is the logic board here. And you're looking at, this is the balance, this is the pad sensor, so it sends there's someone on the pad. This is not for going forward and backward. Forward and backward is actually depending on the, the tilt of this. So this is strictly a pad sensor. These are the uh, power to the, the wheels. And let's go ahead and take the um, the wheels off. Take the wheels off. We need a hex screw here. Okay, we're just gonna take the main wheel off. This is this right here holds the bumper, so we're gonna put the bumper on. Alright, 
you got these plates similar to what you do with the, with the balance uh, scooter. Okay, so what we're going to do is go ahead and disable the, the connectors. Go ahead and pull it out safely. These are nice connectors here. Rubber seal. Some nice bracket holding it in place. And then you got these, uh, these are speed control. This is a speed control for the wheel. Let's go ahead and just have to loosen this tab here. Okay, now that comes off. Then you have this rubberized seal. Just go ahead and pull that rubber seal off. Here, do it one at a time. Again, this is a pretty good moisture resistant with the seal and all. Okay, now the wheel comes off. Let's take a look at the wheels. Alright, so let's go ahead and pull out the other side. Left and right. This is definitely well made, it's rubber. This is a rubber material. Connectors are well done. This is a moisture seal material. And then you got the balance, uh, the speed controller on this side here. All right. Let's go ahead and take this out. Pull off this gasket. Everything here, I mean, the material spells out high quality. We have this in our store, this unit, ready to go. If you guys are interested, the link is below. And if you have this unit and you broke yours all of a sudden, uh, you can also send it and have it repaired here. We uh, are stocking up on parts to repair this. We, we don't sell this, the parts yet, but we are able to repair yours. Okay, so now you have the wheel. These wheels are serialized wheels. You can see that it's been laser etched. And this is a high power wheel here and constructed by Ninebot. Uses a lot, and this is pneumatic. Really high quality. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take out the logic board. And for this one, we'll need a uh, Phillips screwdriver. Actually, I'm just gonna pull out the, I'm gonna pull out this board this way from down here. Pull out the chassis. Okay, so let's use a hex screw instead. I don't want to take out the board completely because the all the information is on the other side actually. Okay, let's go ahead. Pretty good heat sink there. We use this Kapton seam tape. And that's a indicating that it's well insulated. And these are transistors that are well made on. It's a magnesium frame here. This is an aircraft grade lightweight magnesium frame. And each frame actually has a serial number, so everything is serialized on this unit here. These are the connectors to the um, the front two headlights. I'm gonna disable that for now. Disable that connector there. The waterproof seal. One more bolt to hold this down. So now, should be able to just lift this plate out. Oops, this, yeah, the off, the off screws here, kind of fill us, take that out. And that holds the plate down. Just take that out.
Let's see if that comes off. Okay. Now we got okay. We got the uh, heat sink here. This is the uh, same stuff you see in the processor. That cools down the processor on a on a um, on a computer. This is the uh, top control. This is the board. This is what controls the uh, left and right turn. Okay. That done. Now you got this is the uh, sensor pad. This is actually oh, this is the this is the upgrade pad. This is where you can actually put in upgrade the part. And now this is the sensor. So now let's look and see what we have here. Yes. This is an ARM processor. This is this. This uh, printed circuit board is designed by Ninebot, just for their purpose. It has high power capacitor. These are the heat sink going to the transistor. These control the power to the um, motor left and right. And this is the speed controller. These are the these are the sensor, the pad sensors. And this pad sensor goes to these slots right here. Let's look at the what's in here. What kind of sensor does it have? Okay, so the, the bill on this thing is not really that sophisticated. It has pretty decent set. Okay, and does have the, uh, the optical sensor here. So if someone steps, steps on a pad here, it shows that it's registering. All right guys, so this is the body and frame fairly light and so these are pretty much the component that makes this 9 bot work looks pretty simple <coughs> and um, it look like a pretty simple set of components you got the battery you got the two wheels you got the logic board the sensor the nice frame the steering uh, this is pretty much the, the gist of it all and if you guys want to uh, see how I put it back together just play this video in reverse this is Prague Visual Life Diary Pair MD Safe riding and safe repair, guys.